check out the window sticker here from the dealer on our brand new ride. Yeah, this pup's by no means new, but it's new to you. <laughs> That's right. So we got a lot of mileage on this guy. We're gonna do some maintenance, hook our buddy up, and yeah. throw in a lot of, hey, cool, awesome tools. That's right, so it's gonna be fun, a lot of action, so stick around. 18 Gs, are you kidding me? All right, man, let's make sure we don't scratch this nice ride. Let's get that fender cover yeah, on. Yeah, man, we have official two guys garage fender. Now yeah, we got our buddy Jay. He's got a lot of miles on this car, but you know, he wants to eke out a few thousand more. Yeah, the problem with Jay is, hey, we love him, man, but every time we see him, he's got that sweaty back syndrome. Ooh. You know what we're talking Ooh, about, yeah. right? Sweaty Time back's no good. Yeah. <laughs> so we got an AC problem. Now last year, it blew cold. He was fine, man. Yeah. He always had a cool dry shirt on. <laughs> but, over time, last couple of months, you know, the cold started being not so cold anymore, and now it's just kind of warm. So we probably got a leak in the system, so we can go through and, you know, repressurize and see if we can, you know, contain that leak or if we got a major repair. Now, Willie's gonna dig through and, and uh, access that low side service port. Right. If you're not familiar with ACs, you can get on AC Pro website and they got a low, low side service port locator for whatever vehicle you've got. So now you can get in there, start checking the pressures, seeing how you're doing. This one just happened to be underneath the air box. And like my boy Kev here will go in and tell you, there's so many places where these things can leak. There's like 15 O-rings, all kinds of stuff. And that's why these guys at AC Pro came up with not only a really wicked coolant, but it also is a rubber conditioner. So it goes in and it helps seal those O-rings. Yeah, so the AC system is just a big loop of refrigerant but you got a compressor in there, and on one side of the compressor is an orifice. So you're backing it up. Once you kick that thing on, you're pushing Freon against the orifice or TXV valve, and on the other side of the compressor is a low side. You're pulling a vacuum. So that's what we're gonna tap into is that low side. Now I'm gonna fire this thing up so yeah. we can get the system running, see what kind of system pressure we're looking at. Hey, and check this out. This is kind of cool. This little port right here, if you will. The only thing that this thing can snap onto underneath the entire hood of your car I'm is that low up, port man. side. All right, man, give me some heat. So we have it connected right there. So that's gonna give us a reading in a second. And a really cool thing about this is you can set the temperature. And here it's about 72 degrees. So we roll up here, set it to about 72 degrees. See that? And then it's basically just a trigger. See that? We have it hooked up to the low port side, and you're ready to squeeze. Check this out. Now when we let go of that, you can see it's filling it up. Needs a little more. At 72 degrees, you want to get it in and around the green up here. So when you let go of the trigger, as you can see, that needle is climbing. Filling up this AC, we're going to get Jay some clean, dry shirts. Look at that. We're already in the green. It's drier. <laughs> I can feel it. Start to feel it? Yeah. Awesome. All right. So now we have refrigerant in the system. It can actually do what it's supposed to do. Um, and because we've got you know the conditioners in there, we can kind of tighten up a lot of those little seals. Now, if you've got a bigger leak, typically not you know one of the rubber components, maybe you've got some corrosion happening inside your condenser or evaporator, you can use the super seal. Now the super seal is what they use in a lot of the uh, kind of Alaskan pipelines. It's got a silene in it. And what that does, it kind of acts like clotting blood. Inside yeah. the system, it won't hurt any of the components, it won't clog anything up. But if you've got a leak and it starts to push its way out, exposure to oxygen or air and moisture, moisture and it'll start to sort of coagulate like blood and seal off those you know, sort of larger metallic pinholes or whatever. Look so, at that. Fully charged and ready to roll. Right, That's man. how easy this is, come so, on. Easy, Ooh. quick fix. Our buddy Jay's gonna be a whole lot more fun to hang around with. So yeah. let's move on to some other cool stuff. All right. Cool tools. Now this show isn't just about helping out a buddy on his car. It's also about some cool tools. Now, I used to be a service tech, and I've balanced a lot of wheels before. But you know what? I've never balanced one with a machine this cool before from Hunter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to balance this system. But I'm also going to look at road force. What does that mean? Well, let me get this thing fired up. Well, not only can I put you know, balance weights on the tire when it's shaking around, right? I can look at this drum over here, which applies you know, pressure on that wheel. And with sensors, I can figure out what the actual road is doing on that tire, which translates into my steering wheel and the seat of my pants. Well, what is all that? 
Now the machine gave me my out of balance weight. So by the time it takes me to get my weights ready to stick on, it's already done my road force calculation. And if I come over here and I check my outer round on the rim, I can look at the difference between what my tire's doing in sort of inconsistency or spring rate and what my wheel is doing and out of round and the machine will calculate if there's an orientation between the two that best matches to give me the best ride possible just like at the OE. Now if you check it out, if I were to scribe my wheel or paint pen or whatever chalk and scribe my tire and rotate those two, I'd take this low force and make it even smaller. My ride would ride just like it was new from the factory. Now what's cool is you can get on Hunter's website and you can check out all locations in your area. It's got a machine like this to make your ride run sweet again. Now we've got a whole lot more cool tools, so you better stick around. Now today's vehicles need a more durable and powerful battery. Now that's handled by you know, the Federated AGM, it's absorbed glass mat technology. Now instead of kind of lead plates just kind of hanging in space, you know, with an acid bath in there, can shake around and actually, you know, fatigue over time and drop apart and fall apart, it's absorbed glass mat. So it's actually compacted with a glass mat. All that acid's absorbed inside, so it's sealed. You can tip the thing over. It's got about 20 times the vibration resistance and with the modern technology in cars, whether it's GPS, whether it's you know, third row seating and all that ambient light, all that draw, it's about twice the cycle capability of a typical lead acid battery. So that's absorbed glass, man. That's what it can do for you. Well, it gives you the power to actually condense. Now this is the sports version. So this is in ATVs, motorcycles and whatnot. But a lot of race car guys are actually using them because they make enough cranking amps to really fire up those race cars but they're light and compact so you can zip around the racetrack. So hopefully that helps you out. Anytime you need a better, more durable battery, check out the Federated AGM. Okay, we're back with the 1989 Cutlass Supreme. Supreme's important. Yeah, that's right. It's got the pepperoni, the sausage, <laughs> and the green pepper. Uh, indeed. And her friend said he had a, a few problems with this thing. Uh, one of them, obviously, was the AC. Another one was this fact that this little dome light here underneath the hood wasn't working. So we're wow. going to try to fix that using one of the coolest tools we could possibly find. Now, this thing is a power probe. It's like a circuit tester times a million. This thing is awesome. Not much this thing can't do and it starts out giving you some LED lights right here not a bad draw all right let's go ahead well, and speaking check this of lights out. this isn't just a dome light this is a light oh look at that on a tether <laughs> so you're stuck on the side of the road you can check a belt see what kind of fluids leaking kind of a neat little gadget way back in the day all right now let's see if the bulb itself is working that's a good place to start yeah we can see if the device itself actually works you know whether it's a bulb whether it's a little motor Put a little juice to it. Yeah. See like I just said, one of the cool features about this power probe is you could actually throw 12 volts at something and light it up. For example, well, actually, you know what? We should check Kev just to make sure. He's now he says he didn't work. Okay, on off. So our on right. off switch. Let me look that up the manual. Work. See what I can find on that circuit. Okay. Now I'm gonna throw 12 volts and see if this bulb actually works. Look at that. It does indeed. So we know it's not the bulb. Now we're going to start tracing it back and see if we can't find it. I guess another spot to check would be right here to see if we got a good ground. So let's pop this little sucker off right here. You know, there's a little uh, excerpt in here in the manual, but all it says is on off switch. So I don't see anything else, you know, so let's go ahead and check, check whether we got here. power and ground on that guy. Now, a good way to check here is if when you stick this probe in here and it, uh, it goes green. So that's saying you got a good ground. Now, if it's real good ground, you're going to hit this up button, it's going to throw 12 volts at it, and it's going to flip a circuit breaker actually in the power probe. Let's we'll see if it happens. See, there you go. It tripped the circuit breaker, so you know you got a really good ground there. So we reset it just by pushing this in, holding that. Let's check the other side, see if we can see anything here. Okay, that goes from green to red. So you have a ground, but it's resistance to ground, not enough to flip the circuit breaker. Let's do something that? else. Yeah, there's a dinger. Only... Do it again. All right, let's switch. Hold it. Got. Actually, your parking lights are coming on, so parking lights. Maybe there's something more to this circuit than just 
this looks... dome light on the on off switch. All right, there, I tell you what, um, since it's messing with the parking lights, maybe um, maybe we check that what. switch. You want to power that guy up? Let me hit the switch, dude, and you see if you got any volts there. Um, let's see here. No, he's 89, something sweet. All right, All let's right. see what we got. Yeah, no, it's actually sending power here. So we've got power now to the switch. I bet you if we plug this guy back in. Come on, that could be. might be that easy. <laughs> really? Chuck uh, that guy in there. Let's see what we got. Okay, so. What this power probe is telling Let's us. Let's flip that guy on. All right, is that if we uh -oh, turn this lights? switch on, that light ought to work and our buddy's gonna be really embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that oh. was actually easy because we didn't have to <laughs> fix anything, but we did get to waste some time playing around yeah. with some cool tools. Awesome now, tools. I did notice this bulb over here or something in this circuit's not good, so looks like we're gonna have to bust out some more of the power probe but yeah, I might have to use... You got a faster one. Yours is carbon fiber. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take a break. We got more cool tools coming up and a little bit more on this little ride. This segment is brought to you by Schumacher Electric Corporation. Experience, ingenuity, and excellence in battery maintenance. <laughs> you know, one of the coolest tools you can have in any shop is a motocross bike. Yeah, man, gotta <laughs> love it. You know, I used to do a lot of motocross riding out in Colorado, and one of the things that we always were battling is your bike overheating. Same thing in race cars and so forth. This product right here, we actually used to run in our motorcycles because it does such a good job. Yeah, and this is from Evans. It's Evans Coolant. It's a non-water base, so there's no 50-50 mix anymore. And what happens a lot of times in a you know, regular cooling system on a vehicle with that 50-50 mix, Water is a great heat transfer device, but it also can boil over. Right. So when you're running to the extremes, your system can boil over. Well, this will run up to 375 degrees before it boils. But the yeah. other thing too, you can get local hot spots. So your system may be at a reasonable temperature, but you know, as coolant's flowing across say a metal surface, like your cylinder head, exhaust yeah. seats, really hot. It might be fine until it hits that exhaust seat. And then, that local area is actually boiling up and creating a pocket. steam pocket. Yeah. Well, now you've got an insulated bubble. You can't even get coolant anymore, so that local metal temp can go skyrocketing. So that's when you can fail a lot of things, warp the cylinder head. So this Evans waterless coolant is a great way to go out and hammer on stuff. Speaking of hammering, let's go blow up some burn. Cool, cool. All right, let's put some thought into something you probably never think about, your spare tire. First and foremost, just wait alone. Your jack, your tire, the rim, all the tools it takes, let alone the fact, who wants to drive around with something like that on their car? That just doesn't look safe at all. Wouldn't you rather fix the tire that you have? Of course you would, and here's how you do it. Slime, safety, spare. It doesn't get much easier than this. Steps, four minutes to inflate, seven minutes to fix. You have your sealant right here. It's also safe for the new cars that have that tire monitor pressure system. Won't hurt that sensor or that valve. Slides right through, no problem. Get the sealant in, and then you go over to the air compressor, put this little thing on, turn it on, seven minutes and you're off and rolling. No spare tire needed. Take all that weight, all that time, and just get rid of it. A lot of new auto manufacturers are actually putting this in lieu of a tire inside the car. It's the Slime Safety Spare Kit. Pretty cool. Cool tools. When old man winter comes to town, nobody likes to be cold. Everybody gets cranky, productivity goes down. You need to get yourself a nice waste oil heater like this one from Lan Air. Now you got a fleet, maybe a small shop, take all that used oil, you put it right here in the tank, it'll filter it, pump it up, and then clean burn it right here through the machine. It's got its own pusher fan, you've got adjustable vents so you can put that heat right where you want to stay nice and toasty. A cool unit like this, about 200,000 BTUs, 3,500 square feet, they've got all sizes, quality construction. It's a great way to take care of all that used oil, Put it to good use so you don't have to spend money on fuel oil. You don't have to take your used oil and ship it somewhere and worry about spilling or hurting the environment. And you can stay nice and warm in those winter days. Check them out, Land Air, they got all sizes and shapes for what you need. Cool tool. Every single one of us has enlisted the help of their wife, their girlfriend, a reluctant buddy to help lead the brakes. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Pump, hold, pump, hold, right? We're guys from Motor Products that came up with a power bleeder that takes all that away and you can bleed them anywhere, whether you're in the shop, in the garage, or wherever. It begins with this two quart tank and it's got a little hand pump up here that pressurizes the system. Check this out, a couple pumps. 
kind of cool, right? What that does is force the fluid into the reservoir and out the calibers. So it's a natural flow. The bad fluid goes out, the good fluid goes in. Literally, bleeding your brakes is as simple as hooking up the bleeder hose, turning on your bleeder valve, watch for new fluid as it comes down the line into the system, shut off and move on. You gotta love the power bleeder, making bleeding brakes a one-man job and easy as it can be. Hey, welcome back. We're in the parts room yeah. checking out everything that's cool. Now, speaking of which, Stage 8 locking fasteners, it's their locking mechanical header bolts. Yeah, these things are truly an active mechanical locking system that makes it impossible for the bolt to back itself out. We've all had header issues and header leaks. Uh, through those heat cycles, expansion, contraction, those bolts tend to back out and get loose. Well, these make it impossible for that to happen. Yeah, check them out. Now, once you've torqued your bolt, you can come in here with this little blocker here. You can index it. So essentially, you've lined it up next to a header tube or some other physical part. And then once you've thrown your clip on it, that baby is locked for life. And what's cool is you can visually inspect. If that locking mechanism is still on there, that bolt is torqued. Yeah, makes it impossible for them to back out. They're grade eight, they're made in America. As far as headers and bolts go, you can't get better than this. Yeah, it's stage eight locking fasteners. Look, if you've been around a shop or a garage for any length of time, you've probably seen this from M30 Manufacturing. It's their hand cleaner, and it's waterless. Best part about it, you just take a little dab, rub it on your hands, wipe it on your best friend's shirt <laughs> or a rag. Now they combine citrus and pumice in an aggressive type of hand cleaner. Yeah, but you know what's cool? They put it in a to-go bottle. Nice. You can carry it with you, throw it in your toolbox, a chunk of your car, wherever you're going to be. So if you're at the track, stuck on the side of the road, you name it, you can pop the top. Yep. Put a little squirt on. Like you said, man, it's got all the stuff to clean the grit, but it's also got aloe and lanolin to ooh, cool and soothe <laughs> those hands. Yeah, any product's been around for over 50 years, you know they're doing something right. Yeah, that's the M30. It's their citrus and pumice yes. waterless hand cleaner. All right, anytime you pick up a Best New Tool Award at SEMA, you know you got something cool. Right, Las Vegas Tools gives us the easy puller and this thing really does it all. Whether it's cotter pins, bolts, seals, if you could grab it, you could pull it. Check out this mechanism, it's got this hammer, for example, suspension bolts, those big long six inch bolts, just inch it out like this, you gotta love this. That's right, man, with a dowel pin, you know, alignment pins, your transmission and your block, anything like that, especially corroded, even, rusted bolts. Even bodywork. That's right, you got a stud gun, spray it across your dent, grab those guys and pull them out. It's a puller with a big old grip on the end. So <laughs> anything you need, that sucker's gonna grab it and it's gonna pull it. Yeah, the easy puller from Las Vegas Tools. And next up from Moduline, these modular aluminum cabinets. Love these things. They're lightweight, they're aluminum, they're tough, and durable, and they come in all kinds of colors. So whether it's a hobby room, a basement, a garage mahal you're building, these things work awesome. That's right, it doesn't have to be a garage mahal, right? Yeah. It could be, you know, a workshop mahal, a basement mahal, <laughs> you know, an airplane hangar mahal. Oof. Whatever mahal you want, these guys can hook you up because they yeah. can build all custom stuff, configurations to whatever you yeah. need, whether it's a laboratory, a kitchen, you name it. Now these are, like you said, tough and durable because they're aluminum. Yep. A lot of those environments, moisture, corrosion, yep. ain't gonna happen. These aren't gonna rust, right? They're not gonna get moldy <laughs> and mildewy. So a great sort of all environment sort of construction. And talk about tough, the drawers, they hold 100 pounds, they have optional thumb locks on them. Tough stuff, man, for yeah. Moduline modular cabinets. Build you one. Get you some. Mm -hmm. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, check out speed.com or visit twoguysgarage.com. This segment of Two Guys Garage is brought to you by You Coat It, do-it-yourself floor coatings for a durable, protective finish. All right, welcome back. So all day we've been showing you some really cool tools. We got a great one for you right here. Especially when you think about all the quarters you put in all the car washes for that silly spot free rinse. And all the quarters you're gonna put in the car wash for that spot free rinse. Yeah, why not, not anymore, man. Yeah, why not have a system you could do from your house, your shop, and get that same spot free rinse, right? This is the CR Spotless water system. So you got all kinds of salts and minerals in your water system. Yeah. Well, this system right here, as the water flows through, inside you've got these cartridges. Now, these are full of cations and anions. They're going to strip all those salts and minerals out of the water on the other side, deionize essentially pure water yeah. so it's spot free. Now, you think, man, are you lazy? You can't wipe down a car? Yes. 
<laughs> or what if you have two cars? Yeah, three, four. What well, if you have a fleet of cars? Yeah. Maybe a big old RV? You're not gonna sit there and tile that whole thing down. You take hours, right. you know? Especially your house. You got a lot of windows. Maybe oh. they're up real high. You hook this guy up in front of your power washer. You can wash it down. You deionize the water and you walk away, man. There you go, CR Spotless. That's how you need your ride. Cool tool. You know, no matter what we're pushing, whether it's something blingy like this, or just a factory rim like that, or metal under the hood, you definitely want to protect it from road grime, road salts, from bugs, you name it, right? So this is the stuff that can do it. Chrome Guard. Cool thing about this stuff, you spray it on one time and one application lasts up to a year. Protects all metals, leaves a protective finish on it no matter what kind of metal it is. So whether it's an RV or something under the hood, protect it with Chrome Guard. Cool tools. I love the power of modern technology, man. It's in your hand. I've got a VinScan tool. You can download the app for your iPhone, your Android. I come right over here to the VIN scanner and I come slide right down here on my VIN. Bang! It reads that sort of barcode right there, and I've got all the information on the vehicle right here, ready to access. Let me switch over here, because this is a small screen. You can see this one a little bit better. I can save vehicles. I can pick my last hundred vehicles. So let me pull this one up. This is the Honda Pilot. So in here I've got, you know, make, model, front wheel drive, engine type, horsepower. I've got towing capacity. I've got wheel size. Anything you need to know, whether you're running a fleet, you're doing car repairs, um, you know, maybe you're searching to buy a car and you need more information about it. You know, what's cool, if I scroll back up to the top, I can email or text this information from the VinScan tool. Really neat. Dude, what a cool app. Yeah, no doubt. Woo. We showed you a lot of neat stuff today. Hopefully yeah. you guys got, you know, a few good ones that are on your little Christmas wish list. Indeed we did, man, but we still have a little bit of work to do on that 89 Cutlass Supreme. Yeah, we told Jay we'd do a little bit more work than we've done already. But you know yeah. what? We're out of time today. Hope you guys had some fun. Yeah, man. We'll see you next time.